Hey guys, welcome back to another video with your main man, Smooth Marky. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys this absolutely amazing Minecraft Pocket Edition add-on that actually adds the Entity 303 into your Minecraft. That's right, guys. This add-on allows you to spawn the Entity 303 as well as Herobrine because the actual name of the add-on is the Herobrine and Entity 303 add-on, guys, and it's amazing. I have to say, guys, this add-on is absolutely amazing, but everything you're going to need to spawn, the Entity 303 is inside this one chest right here. So basically what you're going to need is you're going to need four blocks of iron and one pumpkin. I know I have eight pieces of iron and six pumpkins. But that's only because that's a little bit extra that I had left over. So I just threw it all in the chest. And I might decide to spawn two of these guys in case one ends up actually dying. I also got some nether stars as you could see. And that's what you actually feed them to turn them into dots. Because when you spawn them at first they will be babies. I also got some pig spawn eggs, some villager spawn eggs, some creeper spawn eggs, some spider spawn eggs, some zombie spawn eggs, and some skeleton spawn eggs. Because I plan on having this entity... 303 fight all of these mobs so basically in order to spawn him you basically just build him like a regular iron golem so basically what you want to do is you just want to put a block right there right there then one on the side and then one on the other side just like that and then you want to jump on up and then you want to put the head on top and then boom right there he is guys and as you can see he looks like a little baby like a little man like a little baby zombie and basically what you do with these nether stars is you just power them up. And there's no way to make him small again. I don't believe you can make him small again. Even if you feed him a hundred of these or whatever. You can't make him small. And one hit, if he hits a pig one time, boom! He kills it right away, guys. So you might want to keep him away from your animals. Because you don't want you don't want him to kill all of your animals. Especially if you have like a wolf or something. Because he will go out the wolf and he will end up killing it. As well as your villagers if you're looking to parade. But the villagers run really quick. Run, 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 run. Oh my god, he's going to catch you. He's going to catch you. Oh. Oh, he caught him and then he ended up killing him. It takes two hits for him to actually kill the creeper. The spider, I believe it's one hit. And then the zombie, I believe it's also one or two hits. Oh, but the zombie came back. He got a little bit of a hit on him. But when you actually spawn like five zombies, they will pell up on him. If they don't pile up on me. Oh my god. Oh my god. I accidentally hit them. They're all piling up on me. Oh my god. It was not supposed to happen like this. I got to back off. I got to back off. And another thing. If you accidentally hit them. It's all right. You can back off like this guys. And then when you go back up to him. He'll be nice again. So he won't beat you up. So he will be nice again. Just make sure that if you do accidentally hit him. You back off. And then you should be able to go back up to him. And he should be really nice guys. I don't know why that is, guys. Maybe his memory <laughs> ain't so good these days or something, guys. I don't know what's going on. But when you actually just go back up to him, he's actually nice again. See? Right there he is. And he's just nice. Maybe he's not mad anymore. Maybe he thinks that, you know, it wasn't me. It was a zombie dressed like me. I'm not for sure what's going on, guys. But I'm going to try to hit him 30 times and see what he actually drops. I believe he drops some pretty good loot. I believe it's food. I believe he does drop food. I think it's apples to be exact. And oh my god, I'm getting piled up on. There's a zombie and him attacking me. Wow. I'm just going to have to keep on beating him up. Because if I try to beat this zombie up and then beat him up, I'm probably going to end up dead, guys. So I'm just going to have to keep on hitting him. Keep on hitting him. Keep on hitting him. Come on. Come on. Please don't let me die. Please. Come on. Oh, I just killed him. Oh, one hit to the zombie's face and it killed him. And see, he dropped some apples and he also dropped a golden apple. So he dropped four regular apples and one golden apple. I do believe it varies. So you could drop like six apples if you kill him. He could drop like seven apples. I'm not really for sure, guys. He could drop more apples. He could drop less. But let's go ahead and put the head on top and spawn another one. I like them better when they're actually like shorter like that, guys. I don't over like the adult ones. Because the adult ones can get angry, guys. <laughs> and it's kind of hard to actually uh, kill them. But... The baby ones are a little bit easier to kill, so that's why I like spawning the baby ones. And the baby ones are vicious as well. I like to see the baby one versus the baby zombie. Oh my god, it's happening. It's actually happening. Wow, he killed that baby zombie. Wow, I cannot believe he killed that baby zombie. I was wanting to see him versus the baby zombie. That's what he's kind of like is a baby zombie. 
But we we just seen what would happen if you versus the baby zombie. But let me know what you guys thought about this down in the comment section below. And as always, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.